Hello everyone, my name is Andre and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about if you should become a WordPress developer in 2021 or even better if you should learn WordPress development in 2021. And I want to be short in this video. The answer is yes and no. It depends. It depends on where you are in your web development journey. If you are at the beginning of your web development journey, then you should focus on learning the fundamentals of web development. You should focus on learning front-end development, you should focus on learning back-end development, uh, you should learn how REST API works, you should learn what a CRUD application is, uh, you should learn different frameworks, different CSS frameworks like Bootstrap or Tailwind or Foundation or whatever CSS frameworks are there. You should also even learn or at least have a look at some different uh, JavaScript front-end development frameworks like React or Vue.js. You need to have your fundamentals in order before you should start learning WordPress development. Why? Because WordPress is basically a full-stack development tool. This might be heresy for some people, but this is what WordPress basically is. It's a full-stack development tool. It's a CMS or a content management system that is built on PHP. There are a lot of use cases for WordPress and I will go into the use cases for WordPress in at the, at the end of this video. Before that, we should answer the question, when should you learn WordPress development? So when should you learn WordPress development? I'll be quick again, when you need it. And what do I mean by this? Uh, well, you may get hired at a marketing company, a marketing agency, for example, and they build the websites for their clients in WordPress. So if your job demands learning WordPress, then of course you should learn WordPress. But maybe you are working with a relative or a friend of you and they have a WordPress website. So if you are working on a project that needs WordPress, you should learn WordPress. I know that I'm sounding like Captain Obvious here, but you should learn WordPress just as any other development, web development technology on a need basis. So if you are working on a project that needs WordPress, then you should learn WordPress as much or you should learn as much WordPress as you need for that project. But if in your web development journey, you decide to go the freelancing route, then you should definitely learn WordPress. Because if you are working for small to medium businesses or even some enterprise clients, you may need WordPress for 90% of the jobs you have if you are just building websites for them. You know, because with WordPress, you can do a lot of stuff. With WordPress, you can build a lot of things and it's not limited as some people make it seem. And if we are at this topic, I want to share with you just a few cases where you can use WordPress and it will do great. For example, you can build e-commerce websites. There's this plugin WooCommerce and you can build pretty fast e-commerce website with that. Well, you also can build just a simple website or a simple blog. You can even build travel and booking websites or even real estate websites with listings and all that they need. And the last point is the really amazing one. Because of the REST API the WordPress has, you can build also mobile apps. Yeah, you can build mobile apps that will have the backend in WordPress. WordPress is a really powerful tool and with the new technology out there, WordPress is not lagging behind. On the contrary, it's catching up really big time and you can use WordPress for a lot of development cases. 
thank you all for watching and i hope this has been helpful to you and as we are leaving don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button to get notified when i will post other videos like this one have a great day